The problem with crash cymbals in a rock track, and maybe not what you're thinking. Next on Music Surgery, with me, Dr. Bob. Before I mixed all my own music, I had the pleasure of working with some of the greatest mixers on the planet. After producing this particular track, I had the privilege of sending it to Chris Lord Algae to be mixed. But before I sent it off to him, I realized a problem in the cymbals and fixed it before I sent the tracks. Here's what I did. All right, you guys, let me show you this drum track. Uh, just a few bars here, and uh, we'll talk about what the problem is. All right, groove and track, everything sounds great. Let me solo the overheads. And we play this again. Okay. Well recorded, sounds great. This is a rock track. Um, and in a track like this, I've got to have a lot of downbeat percussive crash from the cymbals. Um, when I listened back to this track, And this is my fault. I, I was the producer of this track. So what's happened here is the drummer did a great job of not hitting the crash cymbals too loud so they don't break the rooms up and we can use compression. He did too good a job. I'm not getting enough crash in the cymbals. Now, as being a, the producer, that's my fault. That's not his fault. When you're the producer, you take all the blame. You, everything's on your shoulders. Um, also, I think the choice of symbols they sound great. They almost sound like Peisty, where they're beautiful and they're um, almost scooped out sounding. Um, so. I know that if I'm going to send this track to Chris Lord Al Algae to be mixed, he's going to have to automate these symbols up. So let me try that. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to automate that crash up. Fade it out. I mean, that will work. I mean, something like that would work, um, you know, if I automated it out all the way to here. That would work. That gets me a little more. Does it get me enough? And here's the other problem with that. That would work. But the other problem with that is, if I send this to Chris Lord Algae, I know that on overheads like this, he's probably going to use compression and EQ and things like that. So if I'm automating up, anything he's going to do after that is just going to compress it again. So he's not going to get the downbeats, and I'm, as a producer, not going to get the downbeats and the impact of the crash symbols to frame these sections. Now, I could send it to Chris and let him worry about it but when you send something to chris lord algae you want him to think you're cool you want your work to be as great or greater than anyone else's work that he gets and he gets the best on the planet so why do i want to handcuff him or the song or the project to something that was ultimately my fault i should have caught this in the tracking section in the tracking session um i should have had the engineer changed the mic placement, we should have changed the symbols out, something, but I didn't. So now I've got this at home. What am I going to do? So here 
is my answer. And I've started doing this in many tracks now, even tracks that the crash cymbals have been recorded and played to the degree which um, they do sound good in the track. But if I ever send something out, because if I'm producing something that already has a mixer, I give them this option, and every time they love it. They go, oh my God, that's a great idea. I mean, it helped me so much. It gave me an extra dimension of um, tweakability, and I do it in every track I do, the ones I mix as well. So I solo up the overhead track. I bring in some crash samples, and I listen to the overhead track. I know that this track had two crash symbols. So, let's listen to what the overheads are doing. Turn that off. Okay. There's a crash symbol on the left side. So, I bring this crash in, pan it to the left. Where's it at? Let me check this. I might have my headphones on backwards. <laughs> okay. So right, left is right, right is wrong. I have my headphones on backwards. Sorry. Um, so now I have the option to put this crash in with our overheads. That's with it, here's without it. And I can turn it up as loud or soft I want as I want for that impact. Clearly a crash on the other side. So let's put that one in there. Probably loud. All right, now mix in with the whole track. And here's that one without it. I think this one can go up even more. There we go. Any mix engineer is going to love having that to enhance those crashes. How much they use or want to use is up to them. Now, uh, the magic of the internet and time and space and editing. What I did is I went in and did this every time. Those are all the crashes of the song. Now, you say, man, that takes a lot of time. Well, it would have taken me just as much, if not more time, to go in and automate every crash because I'd have to go find where every crash is and automate that. So instead of doing that, knowing that Chris may compress it later and it would smash my automation down, I put a crash symbol in every left side where the drummer crashed left and right side where the drummer crashed right. So let's go to a section here where there's a lot of that and let's see how it sounds. Without those. Huge difference. And I, I can make this, I mean, once this mix has guitars and all kinds of stuff in it, I can make these as loud as I want for the impact. Make no mistake about it, the end 
of every fill most of the time in a song is going to end with a crash, and that's your exclamation point. If you don't have an exclamation point after that fill to frame that next section, you're really, really missing something. And this just isn't a drummer thing. This is a producing thing. So, and here's another thing I did. Let's go here to this section in the overheads. He's obviously riding a crash. So, I rode a crash with him. Left it out there where he did the fill. Here it is without what, um, the crash symbol. I just pasted a crash. I mean, it probably sounds terrible. Doesn't matter. You'll never hear that in the track. I'm just going for the wash. And here it is with it. So, use this at varying degrees of loudness, whatever you need to once you're in mixing. But you're going to thank me later to have these impacts of crash cymbals by themselves. You never know when you're going to need more. And by printing the, by pasting these in every time the drummer hits, through a whole track, it may take you 10 minutes at the most. If you don't have 10 extra minutes to make your track great, then reevaluate your whole life. Just kidding. But anyway, Chris called me and thanked me for this. He obviously heard the problem I heard in the overheads and it saved him a lot of time to have to automate or do whatever he had to do or his assistant had to do to make those impacts come out. He said, that was brilliant, man. Thanks. Hey, yo, man, that was brilliant. Thanks so much. I love to have those crashes by himself. Um, which made me feel great. It was several years ago, and, uh, you know, to get a compliment uh, that your head's up by someone like that, it still means a lot. So anyway, try this. You'll never be sorry. CLA did a fantastic job on the mix, as always, and thank me for being so meticulous on the crash symbol situation. Try this if you need some extra punch and crash symbol glory on the downbeats in your next track. Hey, you guys, we've got cheap and free crap for you. Sumner, put the right script up there. Come on, man. I'm trying to get... Hey, guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new searches. Also, take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. And one last thing, the Doctor's Lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.